Google's Notebook OM just dropped a handful of brand new features. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what they are, how you could use them, and I'm gonna share with you a bunch of different use cases you should start using these for. Okay, so Google has finally introduced video overviews for Notebook OM, and they gave us an upgraded studio. Here's a sneak peek at what this actually looks like. If we click into this, you're gonna see the studio looks completely different now. We now have audio overviews, we have video overviews, we have mind map, we have reports, and if we click into each of these, we can customize things. But I'm gonna get to that in just a few seconds. There are still a few things that we need to go through right now. So first and foremost, this is only available, audio overviews, in English right now. In addition to that, if you come over here, you could see that the way that this works is it basically formats through a bunch of different narrated slides. Basically, you could think about this as a visual alternative to audio overviews. The AI host creates a new visual to help illustrate points while also pulling in things from images, diagrams, quotes, and different things from the documents that you uploaded in your sources. This is going to be incredibly useful if you're trying to learn things or if you're trying to teach people things. The same way that you could customize audio overviews, you can also customize your video overviews. For example, you could tell it what your target audience is, what you're trying to learn about, and you could have it specify specific topics to focus on. In addition to that, they gave a bunch of different upgrades for the actual studio and what it looks like. There are mainly three things that I wanted to highlight here. One, if you have a public notebook to share with the world, you can actually create an audio overview in several different languages and you'll be able to push out that content globally. In addition to that, you can create audio and video overviews tailored to different roles, which can actually significantly save you time and effort. For example, if you were a teacher and you wanted to appeal to visual learners or audio learners, you could actually create two different things that you can then share with these different groups of people. So let's actually walk through how this works now. So you're going to come over here, you're going to click on create a new notebook. From here, you'll be able to do several things like upload sources, you could upload Google Docs, Google Slides, websites, YouTube videos, or just copy text. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, I'm going to type in YouTube, and you can see that you could actually paste the URL. So I'm going to come over here, and what I want to learn about is a bunch of animals fleeing Yellowstone. So I'm going to type in animals fleeing Yellowstone, and then what I'm going to be able to do is take a few of these videos. So I'm going to take this right here. I'm going to copy this link. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to insert this in here, and we can see this is now a source here. Now, the reason that I did that was really to show off that we can now add other sources here, or we could click on discover sources. So I'm going to type in animals fleeing Yellowstone, and what this is going to do is go ahead and find me a bunch of different sources that I will then be able to pull in here and I really love using this feature because it pretty much automates you having to go through and find sources. So we found a bunch of different sources here, some PDFs, some websites, some documents. I'm going to import all these. If we wanted to find more, we would literally just come over here, click discover and discover more. Now again, we could come over here, we can make an audio overview, we can make a mind map, we can make a report. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to create a briefing document. In addition to that, I'm going to create a mind map, I'm going to create an audio overview right here, and I'm going to create a video overview. Now, I wanted to show off that we customize this, and it gives you some things to actually focus on. So we come over here and say the specific viewer is someone headed to Yellowstone soon. They are really nervous. Now, what we're gonna do is click Generate. As we can see, we've got a video overview generating, we have an audio overview generating, we have a mind map, and we have a report. Now, one other thing that I did want to highlight here is if you didn't want to include all these different sources, you could literally just choose a few of them, and then it will only create these things based off of what is actually selected over here. In addition to that, if we wanted to actually talk to this or ask it questions, we could do that based on all the different sources that this has now learned about. So if we come over here and look on this briefing document, we're going to see exactly what this looks like right here. This is a pretty long brief document that basically tells us everything that we need to know about all these different sources and its summary of it. In addition to that, if we click on convert right here, we can actually turn this into a source and then add this into all of the different learning and all the different knowledge that this has. Now, if we come back over here, 
I'm going to click right here. We could also see this mind map that was created and we could go through all of these different things. And this will keep opening up more and more mind maps, which is pretty cool. And I really love this feature. Now, in addition to that, if we come over here, we can actually download this if we wanted to as a PNG right here, and then we'll see exactly what this looks like. Basically, this goes through and downloads a photo of whatever you have open. So if you don't have everything open, it won't actually show you everything. In addition to that, if we come back into the studio, we could see the video overview is almost done and the audio overview are almost done. From what I've seen on X, the video overview can take anywhere from five to 10 to 30 minutes depending on how many sources you have and audio overviews are typically done in just a few minutes now while these are still getting done i wanted to show you that you can also come over here click on share and you can give people full access to this or just the chats if you wanted to and then you can also check on the analytics to see how many people have actually interacted with this. Now, in an effort to save time so I could get this video out as quickly as humanly possible because it's literally just dropped, I came into a different notebook that I created to show you what the audio overview actually looks like. So if we come in here, we could see that we could come over here, we could download this, we could share it, we could rename it, we could play it right here, or we can actually interact with it. What this allows us to do is join a conversation with the audio overview that is created and be able to actually talk to it. So we could start it right here and actually play the audio. It feels like every day there's a new breakthrough in AI, keeping up with these large. And we could sit here and listen to this. And if we had a question, we could interrupt them and we could join them. I want you to think about how crazy this is. And one of the cool use cases you could use this for is you could literally upload a YouTube video into Notebook LM and now be able to have a conversation with it. Unlike you watching this YouTube video right now where you can't actually have a conversation with me through the video. Okay, so this video overview is now actually done. So let's see what it actually looks like. You could see that 11 sources were made to actually create it. It was created one minute ago. We could share it, we could download it, we could rename it. And if we click into this, this will actually begin to play. So you're packing your bags for Yellowstone. Say, right? The Yellowstone viral panic. You know, this is really the source of all the worry, isn't it? It's all about, of course, bears and bison stampede numbers. This room. Okay, so this is pretty cool. This is actually like taking quotes, it is taking photos, Scientists and it is the... creating things based on that, and then it's giving us an overview of that. So if you're more of a visual learner, this is going to be really cool. And another thing that you could do is tell it if it was a good video or a bad video. And of course, you could always come through and add in different things that you wanted to by simply downloading this or by sharing this with a video editor and then getting them to actually change things around. Before I get into a few of the other use cases you could use for Notebook LM and a few other features, I wanted to make sure that you smash that subscribe button to stay up to date on the latest and greatest changes in AI. I upload videos like this every single day and you're not gonna wanna miss them. Now there are a few other use cases I did wanna walk through. If we come over here and do featured notebooks, this is also another new feature. And basically what this does is shows you how the Google team itself has actually created a bunch of different of these Notebook LM so that you could see what they actually look like and ideally how many sources you have and different things that you could do with them. In addition to that, I would recommend that you use this tool for three different features. First and foremost, if you are trying to learn something with work or you're trying to learn something with school, you could upload all of the different documents that you have. You could get copied text, websites and YouTube videos, all your Google Docs, all your Google Slides, any PDFs and upload them in here. And then this is basically going to be a brain that is full context into everything that you need to know and you can have it create study guides, podcasts, audio overviews so that you can continue to learn and digest that information. You could do this with your teacher whether you're a student or if you're just trying to learn things with work. In addition to that, I like to use this as the second use case, which is going to be just uploading websites or uploading videos, creating an audio overview from that, and then being able to interact with that. For example, if we come back over here, we could see that if we click into this, there is an audio overview right here, and we could see that we can chat with this audio overview and we can interact with it. Now, if you only uploaded one YouTube video or one website, you would be able to literally just interact with that one thing. And another thing that I really like this for is actually using this in order to teach people things. Because again, you can share these with 
other people. So what you can actually do is upload a bunch of sources, upload a bunch of learnings, and get this to create podcasts, create audio overviews, create study guides, create briefings, so that other people can learn from the content that you automatically generated with AI. Not sure if you've seen the reports yet, but Goldman Sachs just came out and said that they think in the next 12 months, AI is going to replace over 300 million jobs. So my question for you is, are you going to be one of those people that's replacing those jobs? Or are you going to be one of the people that gets replaced because you didn't embrace AI? And that's exactly why I created AI Automation School that you could check out at the pinned comment below. In fact, I have special launch pricing right now. So if you want to stay ahead of what's happening in AI and you want to learn how to automate your work with AI, how to make more money with AI, how to build AI agents without knowing having to code, or you just want me to audit your personal AI workflow so we could speed things up for you, I strongly suggest that you check it out. Now, if you like this video, I strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through 10 other Google Gemini changes that they just released that are hidden that you probably haven't seen or heard of before. I'll see you over there.